Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with part 54 of our EA Sports WRC Let's Play. Yes, today we return actually with a bit of housekeeping because it's safe to say our WRC career has been up and down so far in the early stages of the campaign. So what I'm going to be doing today is taking on the TriStar Advanced Radiator Trial. Yes, kind of the mindset of we may as well try and get as much practice in as we possibly can on this game of course as we make our way through this first season and we've got rally mexico coming up next which is a notoriously difficult rally as well so this is going to be quite an interesting one today of course most of our calendar this season is filled with either wrc events or the group b regularity rally uh, so we're actually not going to get many of kind of these less pressure rallies over the course of the year but as i always say practice makes perfect get yourself subscribed if you're new around here as well uh we're closing in on 3,000 subscribers at the moment uh and yeah i mean we, we also need to try and unlock some parts as well uh for future events of course if we want to go in and try and build our own rally cart down the line so yeah this one we can unlock a single pass three row race aluminum radiator Sounds very, very interesting. Let's get on with it, though. Fanatec Rally Oceana. It's one I need a bit of practice on as well. So, uh, practice, practice, practice today. Well, of course, what we've got to remember today is that the AI shouldn't be as competitive as they normally are in these series. So, we have got a three-stage rally. A very, very short, actually, three-stage rally. Ten kilometer and then two just under five kilometer stages uh, to make up this event. So, fingers crossed... We can have a pretty clean, tidy run uh, throughout. We've got a set of mediums and a uh, set of softs, so I don't really think that's going to make much difference either. Uh, we'll probably just use a set of softs for this shakedown and stage one, and then we'll use the other Start one for stage two and stage three. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, apparently I've got the... something's not doing it. Well, very, very weird then. For some reason, my handbrake um, was still on, but I think I've got it fixed now, which is good. Uh, and luckily it's on the shakedown anyway, so it won't make too much difference, uh, hopefully in the grand scheme of things. That being said, if something goes wrong over the course of this rally, then I'm going to blame that, because why not? Um, but yeah, Rally Oceana though, like I said, I've done a few events around here more recently. I've been trying, you know, obviously, especially with especially with the 2-2 two two Rally League, um, I've been trying to get more of these, you know, kind of rallies that I haven't done before. Because, uh, of course, most of them are going to be doing uh, throughout our time in the WRC1 category. So it is, yeah, certainly a fun challenge. Uh, but yeah, Rally Oceana is absolutely one of the scarier ones as well. High speed, uh, gravel, you know, it's kind of like Finland, but upside down. And with maybe some less trees, but other scenery kind of sprinkled in. Um, and yeah, one again, though, you know, the corners come thick and fast, so you've really got to be listening to your co-driver. But also one of those ones that once you know where you're going... I don't think it's actually the worst rally in the world either. Um, it's just about knowing, really. Like a lot of the rallies on this game, the more you know, the better you're going to get on there. 138 one I mean, it's hardly set in the world light, is it? But I was stuck on the start line uh, for quite a few seconds there. I think we'll have a tiny bit of damage to repair. Um, we'll leave on the set of soft tyres that I had. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll replace the body panels as you would. 17,000 credits. Maybe I need to start doing that a bit less as well. Let's do this thing then. Stage number one. Uh, yeah, I mean, we only need top four. AI, hopefully, aren't going to be as good as they are in the actual WRC. So we'll see how this goes. Luckily, handbrake is now working, which is good. That wasn't the corner of my mind. Um, but yeah, I also, I mean, I've done, like I said, a few rallies here now, but I do not recognise this stage whatsoever. Like, we have really got no idea where we're going on this one. 
looks like I have to really, really listen to my co-driver and try to keep it tidy as best as possible. As long as we can just stay competitive throughout, and I think trying to make sure that we avoid the errors as well. He says, he says, he says. Of course. I should know where I'm going on this bit. I did it in the shake down. It feels like this thing really understeers around here. I've seen some of you guys sort of saying in the comments that the Hyundai of all the Rally 1 cars seems to be the most understeery, uh, which is not ideal. Normally I don't mind an understeery car, but on this game, it is not the way you get good times. It's already five seconds off our leader. Really just need to listen in. Oh, no. to an apex and just about managed it. No. Oh, come on. Six left. It seems well like a WRC2 or a junior WRC car would kind of ping off things. This thing just kind of tries to move stuff out of its way, which a huge concrete pylon like that, I don't fancy its chances. Way too much time early on here. Oh, we want to be competitive. Oh, bonnet's gone. Luckily, we have got service at the end of this first stage, though. No, no, no. Luckily, the hybrid will come in handy on the exit, but there we are dropping way too much time. These horrible little bits as well. You just know it'll upset the car if you get slightly out of line. Like that. Oh, oh we were lucky then. Nope. Great. That was a big hit. Oh, come on. What is he doing? To six left of the crest. And crest. Slowing 50. Turn two right. Titan. This car is just mental. Six left of the crest. Long. 150. Seems like I'm both in junior WRC. Sorry, in WRC 2 and this. I have not picked the best car for our first season of competition, which of course just makes things even more difficult. No. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's a good job I'm using this as practice, man, because we are not doing well. And again, this proves is a great example as to why I need said practice. Finish line though. No. Yeah, not my finest run in the world. So, oi. We'll do that as well, apparently. Oh! <laughs> I almost made my way out of the stage. 25 seconds back though, at the end of stage one, is not what we needed. Not what I had in mind. 
Um, so I think, yeah, basically what we're going to have to try and do uh, is just lose as little time as possible throughout the rest of the rally and hope that that is going to be enough. Um, as P4, uh, sorry, P4, of course, we're looking at was eight seconds back from Q Bow there, who leads the way. Um, so, yeah, we kind of need a bit of a miracle, but if we can maybe win a couple of stages, perhaps we can close in some of the time. Right, well, we've got two very, very short stages now between us and the finish, so not a lot of time to try and make back up the 17 or so second gap we need on Monson, but we'll see what happens. So stupid, off the line. I mean, look at that. It's hybrid boost all the way up to 190 clicks. Ridiculous. Why am I the first one out? Are they doing this in reverse order? That is evil. So I'm now the one setting the benchmark, apparently, for everyone else. We might have done this stage before, though. I mean, it's all high speed as well so far, which shouldn't paper suit us. Not that anything has really suited me so far on this rally. We've got a course as if these stages are as this short, we just simply don't have enough time to catch up. Unless the AI makes some mistakes. Oh, this corner's lethal. And that's why that sign there kind of invites you in, lets you believe it's a lot quicker than it is. This is going to be like one of the shortest three stage rallies I've ever done. Oh, that was close to that fence. It's going to be under two minutes. Or are we not quite going to be there? Not with lines like that, we're not. Uh. I mean, we're going to be barely outside the two-minute mark there. 2.09.5. Hello, Marshals. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we. I don't think we got enough time to claw it back, have we? We're not even clawing it back. Mons on there still went quicker than me on that second stage. But we recovered a little bit of time against some of the other runners. That's left us P13 then. So we might, on paper, still be able to sort of get eighth if we nail this final one. Um, but yeah, this has been a very, very odd little rally today. All right, come on then. Final stage. We know roughly what time we're aiming for here. Only a two-minute blast the other way, so this entire rally is going to be like ten minutes. I believe we're just going back the way we came on that last stage. I'm sure we'll find out pretty quick. Still... Oh, no. Desperately trying to learn to keep both hands on the steering wheel more. You know, it's kind of grab a gear and move your hand back. So important. Tipped in aggressively. No! That's a shame. That's a real shame. I 
maybe my problem is I'm still trying to drive this thing like a WRC2 car. I don't know. I think, yeah, like we kind of saw with WRC2, though, it does take me a season to kind of get there with a lot of the cars on this game. You know, there is a lot to learn. But that's why we try and do these ra these rallies. Get a practice, try and learn more and more every time. Get that muscle memory dialed in. Or not, as the case may be. I think what I've got to learn more than anything else about this car is the fact they are wider than the WRC2 cars. These things are massive with the spoilers and the scoops and everything like that. So it's really important we learn that. But slower than we went the other way, 2.15 in the end. Oi. Ah. I might have damaged the car slightly after the finish line there. But yeah, not, not my finest run in the world there. P15 again, rather unsurprisingly. Uh, so we will end the event in P13. Now, I think had that first stage gone a bit better, maybe we would have had a bit of a better chance. But that's the way it goes sometimes. And like I said, we're kind of using this uh, as practice. If we unlock the new parts, it would have been a nice little bonus there. But yeah, that entire rally took us nine and a half minutes. So I apologize. It was a bit of a shorter one today. Thank you all so much for watching nonetheless, though. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like. Get yourself subscribed. And yeah, we'll be back very soon. I believe, yeah, we've got the 2 and 2 Rally League tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll be back for Rally Mexico, which is going to be scary.